Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, April the 18th. I'm James Spann. We've got wet weather today. Tomorrow will be wet depending on what side of the state you're on. And then everybody enjoys a nice day for Easter Sunday. We'll check some of the uh, graphics this morning. That's the big picture, the water vapor satellite view. Very intense trough spinning up a surface low down in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the low is uh, south of Pensacola, about 1,012 millibars. And it is very wet to start the day over the southern half of the state. That was the radar at 5.03. Rain was fairly extensive south of Interstate 20 at that point. The rain slowly working its way north. And the really big rains are south of U.S. 80. And down that way, there is a flash flood watch in effect for far south Alabama in the zone from Mobile over to Dothan. Also, that include much of the Florida Panhandle up into parts of southern Georgia. And there could be a few severe storms today over central Florida, the I-4 corridor, Tampa Bay, Orlando, Daytona Beach. You can see the really big rain south and east of here, uh, from southeast Alabama over to the South Atlantic coast. Uh, the bullseye about five inches near Savannah, Georgia. And there's going to be a very tight gradient in our state as you work your way north. The amount's much lighter with hardly any rain for the northwestern corner of the state. So we'll go from the flash flood threat down at Dothan to generally dry conditions up around the shoals. All right, let's take a look at modeling, see if we can answer your questions. This is the uh, GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. That uh, trough is going to be cutting off into an upper low across the uh, southeast United States. And down below that, the surface low is depicted near Apalachicola later today with a really big rain over southeast Alabama, and that ran rain mass extending up this way. This is the high-res NAM at 3 o'clock today, and you can see the really sharp cutoff. Uh, Coleman showing nothing, Fayette, no rain, but uh, from Birmingham and Anniston South, yes, rain, and the rain could be pretty extensive if this is right, from just south of downtown Birmingham down to Montgomery and on down to Dothan. So this is going to be a case of it's not going to rain everywhere. Just pick out your hometown and you can see how you're going to fare in the rain today. Now, tomorrow, the surface low moves over to the South Atlantic coast, but keep in mind there's a big upper low involved in this as well. And I'm afraid for a pretty good chunk of the state, it's going to be a cloudy day and it's going to rain in spots. This is the high-res dam at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, suggesting rain could be falling at that point in Anniston, Heflin, Ashland, Lineville, Wadawi, and Roanoke. And uh, it's going to be a case where if you're in Florence or Russellville or Hamilton, you might see a sunny afternoon. But for the rest of the state, it sure looks like the day will be cloudy. And again, we'll mention rain mainly along and east of I-65 tomorrow. But everybody will enjoy a sunny day on Sunday. The surface low gradually moves east. The sky will be sunny. The high should be in the upper 70s. Should be a pretty decent day. And then Monday of next week. A nice day, a good deal of sunshine. The high Monday will be around 80. And then Tuesday, a weak front comes in here with a chance of showers. There's not much dynamic support. The moisture limited. Certainly no chance of any severe weather, just a chance of showers. And then Wednesday of next week, an upper ridge begins to build as a trough forms out in the western states. And down below that, Wednesday will be warm and dry with low 80s. Thursday, pretty much the same deal. We do note a... Sub-1,000 millibar low out across the Plain States. We'll have to watch for maybe some severe storms over Missouri, parts of eastern Kansas, northeast Oklahoma. But again, because of the ridge, we should be warm and dry. And a week from today, the surface low is over Wisconsin. And again, there could be some severe storms south and east of the surface low, but we're still with ridging and uh, we should be warm and dry. Maybe mid 80 should be pretty warm in there. And then uh, Saturday the 26th, the surface low moves up toward Canada with a trailing front. We'd have some showers, maybe some thunder, but for the moment, that does not look like a severe weather problem here. 
We'll check the end of the forecast, May 3rd. You can see how the uh, ridge over the Gulf is beginning to move north. The main main dynamics a bit north of here. That's suggesting a cold front, maybe some showers and storms. But the good news, no big, screaming, severe weather threat showing up here over the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on the live stream of the television side this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.